What was that joint you and Law um, drop? Y'all dropped two two yeah, projects, right? Two. Uh, what was the first one? Chicken and waffles. Man, bro, you you sent that to Biko so he could put it uh, premiered on Illinois, and he mm-hmm. sent it to me to do the write up. So I probably lived with it for like two days. I, I want to say, you feel me? And as I'm crafting what I want to put into this write up, you feel me? I'm, man, this shit cold, and I don't feel like no Chicago artist was making music. Like that at the time And on that high of a level You know what I'm saying So like Let's go to that project man Like what What was the thought process Going into that And you know Man to be honest uh, I felt like Going into that project Just cause this is 2020 So I put out four I put out, I put out four joints in 2022 uh, uh, I had started the year off With the Three Kings project yeah. Uh, then I had. I was uh, supposed to had the headline. Then yeah, COVID yeah, happened. Yeah, COVID ca- happened, and so now we kind of shut down. So I was sitting on music. I did the I did the first project I ever did with Breeze, and um, we was just trying different stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, f- so I started from the Three Kings album. We had got like really, really, really heavy into like sample based type raps. We had been doing that, but we decided to sway all the way away from like like the trap. Like them, them, like them trap type beats or whatever, and uh, cause I, I remember this was, and I'm gonna get credit to Breeze, cause bro was really waving that flag, like man, we need to step away from this over here all together. We need to separate ourselves from that all together. Don't rap on none of them beat, don't none of them kind of beats no more. Yeah. So I'm like, alright, cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, bro, making the beats. So bro started making the beats. Uh, we did that whole album. Everything was sample based. We sat in on every on every session where he made the beats. We wrote our raps there, recorded them. This one I had my own studio. Um, pandemic messed up a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah. But uh, I had my own studio. We made that whole album in my studio. Then uh, Law uh, mixed and mastered it for us. Uh, then did another project that Breeze had did on off that same type of energy we did. But the Three Kings album, I dropped another one. It was like a little EP, Redline. And uh, I was kind of... I was polishing up that sound, you know what I'm saying? That's just why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you ready for how we get into the chicken and waffles joint. Yeah, what's coming? So now, and the Law mixed and mastered both of them projects. So now me and Law building a relationship. Yeah. Bro pulling me to the side, like, hey, yo, like. That's it. Like, me and you, let's, like, for real, let's 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 lock in. Let's do something. I want to yeah. do something with you. You see know what's what going on. Yeah, so, so, I bet. So I do that, but on, on, in the meantime, in between that, I had released another EP with DJ L because I had a sound that me and bro, this is when I first started rapping, I had a sound with bro that was like, like that's that's how I came out. And I feel like I had put out so much of the new music throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Like the new the new style I had, I wanted to do something for like people that was probably like, dang, when he gonna make the something? The day ones. Yeah, so I put that out, you know what I'm saying? Then I told myself, I said, this is the last project I'm gonna do like that. Like, and... And everything else, this is what everybody getting. You know, everything I put out the, the early in the year, this 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 how I'm coming. I'm finna take that lane. Like, I'm finna be the one. And whoever come after me, they gonna compare to that. Yeah. They gonna be like, oh, bro trying to do, do, do what Richie doing. You know what I'm saying? So I put that out. Then me and Law had already was cooking on what me and him was working on. And I think the first song we must have did was... Uh, we might have did Chicken and Waffles, the, the intro track, the track Chicken and Waffles. That might have been the first song we recorded. And um, that gave me the idea to have like a concept-based album where, where where you center it around like a theme. And I was like, all right, cool. I grew up with families that, you know what I'm saying, that was entrepreneurs or whatever. So I'm like, let me, let me, let me try to tie my whole life into this. I'm going to make an album that's centered around my lifestyle because I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? Let me name all the tracks after dishes. You know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, let me let me take the the idea of me and bro cooking this up. The feeling we finna serve it to y'all. All right, boom, chicken and waffles. Now they come with merch. You know what I'm saying? All my merch came with little uh, disposable trays. So I fold the shirt up, put the uh, put the shirt in the tray. Anybody that bought merch, you already know what's up. Um, and just the just that's what we was doing, man. It was super gritty. Like I ain't really I ain't really care about um like the if you listen to that album, there ain't really no hooks on that album or nothing. Like it's just like rap. It's just rap. I'm just like this is what I want to do. I'm like, man, this this how. And then I put it out at the end of the year in December, like just to trying to show like I coming going into the future. This is what I'm on. 
You know what I'm saying? And I shot a video that I think out of what was it, eight songs on there? I think I shot six, six videos out of all. It's only two videos I didn't do off that album. And um I just worked that all the way into the next year. Then that that album took me into getting introduced to uh I got cool with him. That's with uh with BSF, uh Benny Artist. I got super cool with him off uh, I put a video out uh to Lightweight that was on there. Matter of fact, Lightweight was the first song we did. Uh, that's the last song on Chicken and Waffles. And I put that video out, and me and Bro had already had been like tapping in with each other, you know what I'm saying? Because I had just had reached out to him, like, yo, I rock with you. This is the power of the internet. I, I rock with what you're doing. I see where it's going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when I put that out, Bro super tapped in on it, and um, then we exchanged info. We got the Time Out Records. That's how me and his song came together that ended up on the next. Tape me and uh, Law did, which was a steakhouse. Yeah. All right, man. Making connections like that, like you say, through the internet. I done made some of my closest homies through the internet, which is crazy to me. And like my homie, he got married. I was in his wedding. You feel me? I'm like, bro, we sitting at the wedding and shit. I'm like, bro, it's crazy. I literally met you through the internet, but it was on some music shit. You know what I'm saying? Now. How does it feel, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if bro one of your favorite artists, but I'm pretty sure he in heavy rotation in your yeah, shit. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So how does it feel, one, connecting with him and then making that track together? Uh, It was it was crazy because it took me just that relationship with him, right? I'm going to put it like this. Me getting cool with him took me out of a place where I'm just a face in the crowd, right? I'm just a face in the crowd. Now I'm backstage at the show. I'm getting introduced to the uh, this. I'm getting introduced to these people. I shot my video back. I shot my video when they came to Chicago, backstage with all of them. Everybody was cool with it. It wasn't no issues or nothing. Everybody in the video. Everybody was participating in the video. It was all love. I'm I'm a mean man. You know what I'm saying? So I could say, even though it was just off the internet, it still was just out of just like. Being real, you know what I'm saying? I could have been I could have been one of them dudes that don't show love, you know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. all the way in Chicago, but I see what bro and them doing over there. They was just finna put their mixtape out. Uh they first that their first BSF mixtape, they was just finna put it put it out. And they had dropped like one of his songs. I'm like, oh dude, nice. You see, I say, cause you know, you you used to seeing Benny with, you know, like West Side Gun and Conway. Mm -hmm. When he started to step out and do his own thing and, you know, bring some other artists to the forefront. I respected it. I say, oh yeah, man, they hard. So I just started tapping in with the with the other artists, you know what I'm saying, that he was introducing, and me and bro ended up just clicking. Little small shit like that take people so far. And I feel like in Chicago, you know what I'm saying, that that's what hold a lot of us back. Cause we grew up so tough, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There was yeah. like, man, like uh like you say fifty, um, fifty, you fuck with fifty. He dropped a movie, Get Rich or Die Trying. He was like, man, love will get you killed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of us in Chicago lived off that. Like, love, showing too much love out here get you killed. But that has got me in so many doors. Yeah, because you know it don't saying? cost you none, bro. It don't, it don't cost none to show love. You feel me? Like, especially ain't nobody, yo, you ain't nobody did nothing to you. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't a tour with nobody you a tour with. Facts. Bro, them all the way from, and I looked at it like this too, right? Cause they from New York, right? But it's upstate, right? So I look at Chicago kind of the same way. Cause they might be from Buffalo, but they they really want you know when they come up, they want getting that New York love. You know what I'm saying? Same way it is in Chicago. Right. You could be from Chicago, but if you from out west, you ain't gonna get that same. You not and anybody can you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to sound like that or come with that kind of energy, but you're not gonna get that same kind of love that you know. The South Side, an uh, artist from the South Side might get because most of the people that's in media from out South, most of the people that, you know what I'm saying, most, most of the people that's on the other side, other than just being an artist, is they c come from the South Side of Chicago. You got a couple people here and there that's from out West that, that do put on, so that's why I don't want to, you know what I'm saying, come off or sound like that yeah. because, you know, for, for everybody I say that's from out South that are, plug a, a, a out, another out South artist on, it's somebody out West that'll do the same thing. Facts. So, you know what I'm saying? So I do want to say that, but it's like a little joke. It's it's all, it's like, you know, it's, it's like the joke always on the West side, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like every time there's something funny going on, it'd be like, oh, 
they got to be from out west, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? West, west Side <laughs> Illinois. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, it, and it's and it's cool, but where that come from though? Right. I don't know. Right. Because to me, like I ain't. I don't, it I come never, from the majority, bro. It just come from it's the majority. Like, but like I say, I'm from out south. You feel me? And I never viewed the West Side in a negative way. Maybe it's because my cousins all was from out west. Right. And if I wanted to kick it with them, I had to go out west to kick it with them. So I got to see the out west culture firsthand. You know what I'm saying? And I always respected out west because, like you say. Um, some of my funnest experiences have been out west, and, and you could be a mad rapper and complain about it or vent about it. it. Just put a chip on my shoulder. It just made me go hard. I rap. You feel me? I go hard, and I get love. You ask my, you ask any other, you ask people that rap. My peers, they know what's up with me. You know what I'm saying? I had Kid Breeze in here, and I told Kid Breeze, I'm like, man, the person I see Kid Breeze as on social media. You feel me? It ain't him going out of his way to be nothing other than Kid Breeze. And I feel like that's the same way with you. You feel me? Because you say you make lifestyle music. So I feel like your internet presence is your lifestyle. Like exactly. you got into the the restaurant critiques and shit. I'm like, man, it, this what he doing on a daily basis. So it ain't it ain't like you stepping out of your element or you doing something. And bro, a lot not, of them songs, you know? yo, I probably did that that day. You feel me? I probably, if I went to the studio because... And another thing about that album, bro, I didn't, I didn't make none of them songs. I didn't make none of them. Like, you know how you, back in the, I, coming up, I'm gonna say it like this. Coming up, when, when you trying to save as much money as possible because you, you know, you ain't, you ain't go to the studio a lot. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you did go to the studio, you wanted to make sure the beat was ready, your verse was ready, and you want to maximize. You finish that yeah, shit. Yeah, you want to maximize your time in the studio. Man, this time when I was making that that album with Law, I looked at it like, all right. I said I gave bro five hundred dollars, bro. I said I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars, bro. This how many hours, you know, you gonna give me for five hundred dollars? Let's let's put something together from this from every week. You know what I'm saying? Every week, give me one of them days out of the week. Put three put three or four hours on the books until we done with this joint. Yeah. And every time we were in the studio, we would make a beat. We would. You know what I'm saying? We 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 make the beat while he making the beat. I start making my verse. By the time he did that one, we would pull another beat up, start that one. All right, well now we got both of them songs done. All right, let me rap it. Let me go lay it. All right, if I'm gonna put somebody else on this song, I don't know yet, but we gonna sit with it. Then we'll probably come back if I'm putting that feature on that joint. Cause I think I only had Pano, who Pano was on there, Breeze was on there, and AM Joel and AM Early Morning. Them the only features I had on that. On that, on that, on that, on that first chicken and waffles, and um, and we did it that way. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take none of that stuff home with me and work on it or come. You know, if I was in the studio, I did it right then and there, left with it. And I feel like that's why the music came out like that because I was really drawn. I might have did whatever I was rapping. I might have did that yesterday, or the, or, or I might have did that earlier that day. I was finna ask you, do you feel like that brung the best out of you yeah. in the process? And I always, I always heard people say that that's what they do, and I ain't respect it because I feel like yo, you wasting time. Like, Y'all wasting time. You know what I'm saying? You know how I many songs you get done in four hours if you got the songs done already? Yeah. But they don't mean nothing compared to the art that you putting into. Yo, this beat got made to this beat got made this day. The, the day the song got done, the beat got made, and the lyrics got wrote that day. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, it just make the whole the whole joint jail. And I feel like it made that album feel like it was a collab album. Like that's why I, that's why when I do collab albums with producers, if you look at the credits, like they own a like if you go to the streaming platform, it'd be my name and their name. I don't, I don't just do the our bro made the whole C D and he got the and he got the credits on the songs. Like he he he's the actual, you know what I'm saying, artist on the uh on the title yeah. of the album. Cause I feel like we put as much effort into this, and then that's why on some of them songs you, I might let the I, I might I might did not have a hook because I want you to hear the instrumental, cause bro worked hard putting that loop together, chopping that loop crazy. up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, I ain't even gonna disrespect that. And we coming with the craziest samples. You know what I'm saying? Is that still like your process moving forward, yeah, or do yeah. you switch nah, it to up? to this day still. Yeah. Every every album after that is the same way. You know it's crazy because a lot of people. A fuck up something that was working You know what I'm saying Like people fuck up something that's working Bro I'm so day. cold with it now I could do It take me 30 minutes 30 minutes 
If I can't finish that joint in 30 minutes, we on to the next one. And you say you started you started making music in when you was a junior? Yep. Damn, bro. So I Hey, do you know do you remember do you, if anybody know about SoundClick, bro? That's where you used to get your beats from. It was a little website called SoundClick. Get your you you we had scroll through SoundClick, find some beats, uh uh plug the plug plug the plug the beat into the little software. We had the mic hanging down. And this one you couldn't mess up. You couldn't mess up your verse. Cause you, you have, have to, to start over. Have to start all. I'm talking about nobody could mess up their verse. Cause everybody had to start over. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> so this this that time you so so I feel like I always been like on point with it. So when 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 I when I switched away once once I switched up my creative process and started doing that and I credit that to Law because Law gave me the idea. He said, "Hey man, let's just work." You know what I'm saying? He, I, I could have looked at it like, yeah, man, bro, trying to get over. He trying to get me to spend my money. Right. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, I believe him, man, and it, and it worked out, man. Cause if you ask me, I feel like you've seen a change in. I feel like you you you've seen a change in the way I was received as an artist. You know what I'm saying? You seen other artists start, you know what I'm saying, veering off into trying to do other things. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like. And I ain't even trying to brag about it. I just feel like the landscape seeing what I did, you know what I'm saying, what me and bro did. And now you see all these, you know, you see everybody doing like producer collaboration projects where yeah. you had one person produce your whole, your whole joint. Well, nobody doing that first. Let me ask you this. Speaking on like how, how the West Side is represented as far as the music industry in Chicago, do you as an artist feel like you, get your proper respect in Chicago? For my peers, yeah. Yeah, because I say uh, this last joint I did, Supreme Tape, was like lifestyle music, bro. I, I be in and out Supreme all the time. Feel me? Dedicated the whole tape to it. I feel like I got to rap with every every artist that I really wanted to work with. Like You know what I'm saying? Like It wasn't like and it went hard to it went like I didn't feel like I had to jump through hoops. I mean, it wasn't nothing but a hey yo, let's link, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And we we probably had already been cool, just ain't never did no music together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um and even the artists that I didn't get a chance to work with on that project that, you know what I'm saying, we in talks to do to do music with, you know what I'm saying? It just it just seemed like I get that love. You know what I'm saying? When I reach out to somebody, they already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no it ain't no, oh no, bro, I have to see you, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 let's get it. Come on. Nice.